Hello everyone and welcome back to our survival series part 3 reboot. In this episode we're going to work on making our stamina regenerate once it's been depleted. Last episode we worked on our stamina making it deplete when we ran around. But when we want to stop running we want it to make it regenerate. So let's get started. So to regenerate our stamina that we've lost we need to go and put this on the tick event because we want it to increase over time. But we don't want to do it straight away. We want to make sure we have a little buffer in between losing stamina and then starting to regain it. So if we go over to start sprint, we need to bind an event to stat updated. So I'm going to drag this out and do bind event to stat updated. Oh, one, one. There we are. And I'm going to go down here and do create event. And then in my event graph, I'm going to create a custom event called stamina um, reduced, whatever what you want to call it. Um, this is when we're starting to lose stamina, basically. So when that has happened here, um, we want to tell our um, tick here to Start a timer, and after that amount of time, start doing the replenishment. So this replenishment is going to happen on a gate. So we're going to do a gate, and the tick is going to go in through the enter, and it's going to start closed. The stamina reduced here. We're going to drag this out and put that into open. Okay. We then want to go over to our start sprint again, and choose our new custom event from our drop down here so we do oh sorry i need to tell you what how much has been updated here because stat updated here has a different signature for character so i just need to make sure that my event graph this one here also has a character input on it too so let's just fix that add a character to it character Okay, now one other thing I need to know is I want to know whether the thing was going down or up. Okay, so I need to know what the change was in that stamina. So what I need to do is pass through another variable into here. That means I've got to change my stat updated here to also reflect that change. So I'm going to go to new parameter here and on my stat updated this is add a value difference and that'll be a float. So you're going to get some errors now because things are going to be slightly different. That's fine. So instead of reduced here, we're going to add the float here. Value difference. And then we we'll go to the other ones here and choose part of that. And choose the... No, you're not letting me pick it. Why are you not letting me pick it? Stat updated. Value difference. We should be okay. Yep. That's the same thing. Updated first person float. Uh, oh, wait, did I not do a first person? I didn't. There you go. That'd be why. Okay, now I can go back to start sprint and put that on there. Yep, there you go. Stamina reduced. Okay, so when the stamina has been updated here, it's going to output. On our event graph here the value difference and if this value difference was a less than zero that means we were losing stamina so put that into a branch and if that's true i'm going to use something called a retriggable delay now what a retriggable delay is basically it's like a normal delay but it resets itself every time it gets called so we're going to put that in for, let's say, three seconds. So it has to wait three seconds without being called again before it goes back up uh, up here. Okay, so it basically soft locks it. Now, because it's happening after the branch, that means it won't get affected when we start increasing our stamina, because this is going to report both when we're increasing and decreasing. 
So this will only happen when it's decreasing. So it's decreasing, incre uh, set up the retrigger delay to open the gate. When it does open, that's when I want to alter the stats of my stamina. So I'll drag that out. And we're going to do the stamina stat in here. And in here, you're going to put in how much you're going to regain it by. Now, the regaining by can also be affected by the food, like we did last time. So we're going to go into my sprint stamina. I'm going to take the same bit here, like so. Copy that. Go back to my event graph. Put this back in. This time, I'm going to multiply by a positive number. And because I want to replenish a bit faster than I lose it, I'm going to do uh, multiply it by 2. So now when I put that in there, that should speed up a little bit when it goes to the end there. Compile and save. Now we do need to close this thing again. So this will close whenever we um, have reached the end of our stamina. Okay. Um, or better, no, not to reach the end of the stamina. When we have taken a hit from the stamina, we need to close this. So the hit from stamina is going to reduce this. Okay, so it's taking the hit from stamina, it's going to be happening here. They're going to be a trigger with delay. But what if we, before we do a trigger with delay, put a sequence in. And then zero goes into close, so it closes it first. And then it starts the trigger with delay. Okay, now what that happens is, say I deplete some stamina. It's going to go down here. The sequence here is going to close the gate. It's already closed, but it will close the gate. It will then start the retrigger with delay, and after three seconds, it'll open the gate, ready for me to alter the stats. Now, if I were to sprint again, that's going to go and close the gate again, wait for three seconds before I, of me not depleting it, before it does, does the regain again. Okay. So let's see how that looks in action. So running around, left shift, sprint, let go, let's stop, which is good. Three, and is it going to increase? Doesn't look like it's increased just yet. Oh, there you go. It increased. Oh, that's me jumping. <laughs> so jumping is broken. Let's just fix the jumping one. Uh, all the stats that could be negative. Not point five. There you go. Uh, but yeah, this one's not working. So let's work out why that's the case. Okay, so when we're sprint stamina, go to enter, that's closed by default, so that's not an issue. Goes through here, value difference, have I plugged that in? That's the question. Auto stats? No, I didn't. So I need to make sure I plug this in. So this will be this value here uh, from value. So let's plug that in. value okay now we've got the value actually plugged into the stat updated that should be working so hit left shift to sprint round around we go let go and after three seconds oh very very fast we need to do slow that way down so let's go back into there um and i realized now i made a mistake with the multiplied by two it shouldn't be two it should be point two i believe if i go back to our um spin stamina we're multiplying this by minus one and walter del seconds so i need to do that well so go back to event graph multiplied here and we'll put that in walter del seconds okay right let's check that out run around let go and there you go, replenishing. And again, that's affected by food. So if I have less food, that would go slower. There's me jumping. Should replenish after a jump. That's fine. There you go. There we go, we've now got our stamina regenerating as planned. 
Now we can use the same approach to handle many other features like the food and water, but we'll tackle those themselves in their own videos. In the next episode though, I want to go through and introduce you to how we're going to do the swinging animations and bringing in the different tools that you can have such as axes and pickaxes. If you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support and thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.